Hey, what's going on guys? Rony Boney here. To be sure, to be sure, bringing you a commentary after a bit of a hiatus, but uh, that's going to end at the end of this week. Um, I just need, I need you guys to hold off till Friday, uh, basically because once Friday comes, I'm free from all these assignments. This is going to be going up on the Thursday. I have so much to do and it overwhelms me and I'm my class rep so people are asking me to do things for them and I need to look out for myself so at the moment I need to uh, I need to just work I just need to work so uh, but the commentary actually has a topic so it's uh, me getting very very serious now about competitive gaming look I've come back to play Halo I came back to the 360 just for Halo this is by the way this is an old game of Halo 3 I got for when I first pretty much started back out playing it again I have a different account now and uh, I really enjoy playing Halo 3 again this is before I got a uh, pair of control freaks which work really really well um, I'm a lot steadier now with uh, with my BR and everything like that but the reason that I want to get into competitive gaming is because Halo 3 is a lot more competitive than Halo 4. It's, it just is. Even just regular matchmaking, just because of levels. Those silly little numbers really matter. The in-game ones really do matter. Now, there are arguments saying, well, you know, CSR and Halo 4, that's, you know, that makes it competitive. You know, you can have something to strive for if you want to check the level. If you don't want to, then you can just play casually. I completely disagree. You know, I've spoken with a lot of people about this and I've had to revise my opinion several times on this. CSR is not making this game competitive at all. There are even single player games that can make this... There are even single player games that are more competitive than Halo 4. For one, Left 4 Dead 2. If you guys have ever played Left 4 Dead... If you have ever played Left 4 Dead 2 with Expert on... on with Realism Mode, I completed that on a computer. You guys can hit me up on Steam if you want to check that out or play with me on Left 4 Dead 2 on a PC. Realism is basically, you can't really see where your teammates are, you don't know where special infected are, you're pretty much a, you're, but you're, you're a zombie sponge, two or three zombies hit you, you're down. You get jumped by a special infected, you're screwed. If you guys have never played that game, you need to check it out to know what the hell I'm talking about, because it is an absolutely fantastic game. So, competitive games aren't just judged by how good they are in a multiplayer setting, it's judged by how difficult the game actually makes it for you to improve, for you to play. And I don't find that with Halo 4. I, I find myself going into pub matches. And though a lot of, you know, a good bit of the time, you know, I will be frustrated. I won't be dropping like 2, 3 KDs. But most of the time we're always winning. We are always winning and it's not really a challenge. Now, Team Throwdown is a challenge. The only reason it's a challenge now for me is because I haven't really practiced at it. I don't play the competitive settings for Halo 4. Now, you might think, why don't you? Why don't you just learn it then? Be competitive with Halo 4. I don't want to know the competitive settings for Halo 4. Honestly, I don't want to learn them because when I, when I think about it, they're just not worth it. It's just not worth playing the competitive settings for Halo 4. The game itself is it just doesn't draw me in as all the other Halos used to. It really doesn't. It's just not a competitive game. Like right here now, playing on I think this what was I 46 before this here. Uh, this guy this account's highest skill is a 47, but. Uh, it's, 40, it's a 46 in Team Slayer, and you are always playing 50 high. You always play against level 50s. I play against people that are better than me, nearly all the time. Um, and it's fun. It is so fun playing like that. It really is. Like Look at look at the players above me in this lobby. Like Usually the players are above me in the lobby. Um, and I want to improve at this game. Why? Because this game actually takes a lot of skill. You know, before I have my control freaks, which I really suggest you guys look those up and get a pair, because it improves your aim like no other... Um, you know, I I found this game really, really, really difficult, I, and, I, and I still do, and I want to improve it at it because I find it difficult, and I get pissed off if I lose my level. You know, it pisses me off, this game, and I know that a game is competitive if it pisses me off, if I'm just saying to myself, alright, I'm going to stay up to like 6am, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to play this much, and I want to improve, and even if I'm doing badly, I'm like, shit, I need to keep going back and playing. I don't get that draw with Halo 4 at all. I really don't. I like the game, I really do, but they need to implement their changes. They, they keep talking about, oh, we're going to have a four-shot BR, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Every change that they've implemented has just underwhelmed everybody in the competitive community. And if you guys, you know, think that Halo 4 is going in the right direction, I cannot say this more clearly. You don't know anything about Halo then. You really don't. You really don't. Reach buried Halo's competitive community. It buried us. Halo 4 is a little bit better. It is. It really is. But we don't have the support anymore. 
We have AGL. We have smaller tournaments now. You know, tournaments are what fueled Halo. If you guys were in, if you guys look at me getting absolutely raped there, if you guys had seen Halo during the day, it was so amazing watching it on MLG, watching all that kind of thing. It was the most competitive game out there. It's not anymore. How the hell did that miss? It's it, it really isn't anymore. What the fuck? I'm just looking at this gameplay here, thinking, how am I missing these shots? I wouldn't have if I had my uh, my control freaks right now. Uh, this was this was literally the second week I went back to playing Halo 3 and uh, playing at a high level. Is difficult when you're against people that play all the bloody time, but that's not an excuse. Um, it's it's just I'm just out of practice with this game, but I'm getting back in practice. Getting back in practice. If any of you guys want to hit me up, if you guys have an account that is like you know 50 high, you guys want to hit me up. That's you know that's fine you can only really run in twos in this game uh, I run a lot with my buddy boxer uh, you guys have probably seen him on my channel on the he's on the broken my podcast which we're gonna have another one of those coming uh, in regards to the weapon changes the weapon changes in Halo 4 that is because as much as as much as Halo 4 is just not a good game I don't want to give up on Halo in general I really don't and a lot of people have and I just can't I honestly just can't. It was the first game that I had on my Xbox that really enthralled me. I got it on Christmas Day and I couldn't stop playing it. It was just it was just an amazing experience for me. It really was. And I don't want to give up on this game ever. I really don't. And it, it makes me sad. It really does make me sad to think that this game could be going down the shitter pretty much. Uh, it really does, guys. It's... It, 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 Halo, Halo for me is gaming. It really is. That's one of the reasons I went back to Xbox when I, I, I saw, like, I was on PS3 for about two years, and I saw, like, clips of Halo 4, and I said to myself, I have to go back. Reach didn't enthrall me too much, because I looked at it and said, eh, this stuff looks kind of crappy. But Halo 4, to me, look at that disgusting no-scope. Halo 4 really just doesn't do it anymore for me. Like, it's... It's a great game, like, don't get me wrong, I prefer the BR in Halo 4 to the one in Halo 3, I really do. Like, this one here requires so much precision, but I prefer it because it's easier. That doesn't mean that that's the way it should be. I can respect this game more because of the BR, because it's competitive. This BR is ridiculously difficult to use, it really is, it really, really is, and that's what I love about it. That's what I do like it. I, I just prefer the Halo Halo 4 one because it's easier. If you guys get what I mean. I know it really sounds like a huge contradiction of myself. But that is the way it is. I need to back down. Back down. There you go. There you go. He's pushing through Mongoose. Come on, Roni. Come on. Come on. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's going up top. He's going up top. He's top mate. Come on, nade him. Nade him, buddy. Don't nade the Mongoose. What you doing, girl? All right. Push him, push him. He's on Mulder. He's on Mulder. Watching my own, uh, watching my own gameplay is, uh, a lot of the time it's funny when you watch your own gameplay because you notice things that you do that you shouldn't really do. Uh, look at me there leading my shot. That's exactly what is easier to do with the control freaks. With the control freaks, you can lead your shot so well. Uh, also, in regards to new playlist ideas, as you saw, um... There hasn't been a Halo 4 loadouts in a while. I will put one of those up. I will continue that series because I do enjoy that series. And I enjoy putting up commentaries over the next gen consoles, that kind of thing, and Halo in general. Uh, the Broken Mic podcast is going to be going nearly every week. I really love doing that with my friends, uh, talking about it. We're very involved in the competitive community. There's also, like, there's there's been a lot of people, you know, that, that pretty much don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Uh, when they talk to uh, on YouTube, when they talk about this kind of thing, and I think we're in a, u a unique position, really, because, like you know, just as regular guys, just as regular Joes who play the game, we understand the game just like the pros do. Everyone under, you know, if you've played this game for long enough, you understand it. Uh, and also, I'm going to be putting up a series where I play Halo 3. Uh, so all you Halo 3 fans out there, I'm going to be playing one where I play things like this: Team Slayer live with my buddy Boxer or by myself. Uh, all right, guys, so that's going to be it for me. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm sorry for this hiatus, and uh, that's about it. Leave the comments down below for topics you want me to talk about and for topics that I brought up in this video. All right, guys, have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye-bye.